Hi everybody, my name is Marcellus Green and this is Music Talk 12 and today we're going to be talking about uh, the musicians who influenced me to play keyboards, who influenced me to play music. Um, so sit back and I'm going to talk about and let you know and tell you some more of my secrets and um, when we get done, you can go back and listen to some of their music and you'll hear, you'll hear me um, in there because that's why I got my style from these, this list I'm going gonna, um, I'm gonna to talk about. And let's go ahead and let this music group for about another 10 seconds and then we're done. And the talk will begin. This is Music Talk 101. Well... Alright. Well, you know, every now and then you get with some of your, your peers and your friends or, and you um, want to know well, who influenced you? Who... um. Who do you look up to in the music industry? Um, people ask me that. Who, who do I, who do I, I, who am I sounding like? And it's not the idea of sounding like anybody. It's just where do you get your style from? Like the way you play your chords, the way you solo, the way you put stuff together, even the sounds you like. Um, you as you see uh, on this list, um, my piano style is. It's prevalent in a lot of these names and my um in the piano itself a lot of these artists um they love the piano and a lot of them like the, the keyboards but we have other artists I have other artists that I truly admire I mean it really has have really led the way for me and have been truly an inspiration that's that really made me want to play first of all I'm gonna start off with two names I, I talked about in my bio um, there's a guy named, a good friend of mine, is named Edward Young and uh, Joey Bryant. Now, keep in mind, I started playing keyboard or piano first. I started playing the piano probably in, in 1977. Yeah. And um, it was due to the fact that um, I met a young man named Edward Young and um and Joey, I kind of met them at the same time. Probably Joey first, like they're a couple of months apart, because Joey went to the same high school I went to. I graduated from a high school in South Carolina, Buford, South Carolina, called Battery Creek. Okay. And um actually our high school was in a town called Burton, South Carolina. And Elwood Young went to Buford High, um, in um Buford, South Carolina. They both played in bands. They were, oh my God, excellent keyboard players. Um, Joey had an unorthodox style um, on the piano, but Joey played bass. He played drums and um, and guitars. Um, he was a good um, bass player. Oh, that really was his instrument. But if you hear him play piano, you would think he was a an accomplished pianist. And Edward played keyboards. Um, he played in a band called Actual Proof. Edward Young with his brother Johnny Young on bass, which was another influence of mine. And um he was unorthodox like me. His style, my style is like his. And um Joey was in a band with his brother called the Bryant Brothers. Um it consisted of um Joey um on bass, if I'm not mistaken. Um Vincent Bryant, which I will talk about after this, was keyboards and um Chucky. Chucky um, Brian was the drummer, I believe. And then they had a couple other cats on horns. But uh, Chucky um, plays keyboards, too. Well, this family is something else. They all, they're so musically inclined, it's scary. Uh, they just don't play one instrument. But those are the two that got me started. They, man, they used to come over to my house, and we had a piano, and I didn't know how to play. And they used to get on our piano um, and just do some stuff. It was just crazy. And they, they, they both um could read, and they both um played by ear, mainly, but they played just about everything by ear. Um, And I was so impressed, but I couldn't play. 
And um, I remember, uh, like if it was like yesterday, um, this was in '77. I said I'm going to learn how to play keyboards. And I used to like this, this, this. These they were brothers, I think. Um, older white cats named Ferrante and Teicher. Those are the first two people I really loved playing piano. They were like they played classic piano, and they um was like a duo team. And during that time, hanging with Joe and Edward, I used to listen to them. So I got pissed off one day and I asked Joey and um, Edward not to come back over for a week or two. And I had I had a plan. I'm telling you, that's just the way my mind works. I said, I'm going to learn how to play piano. Because I used to ask them to play something and they'll play for a little bit, then stop. And I and they start laughing. And, you know, I said, okay, I'm going to learn how to play. So about a week went by and um, I taught myself how to play our piano by ear. And when they came back over, they were so impressed. And I said, you know, you all really helped me a lot because you drive me, you push me to wanting to learn how to play. And that's how I am. I'm not going to sit and um, this is me. I'm not, if I like something I want to do, at least I'm going to try to figure it out. Um, I may not get everything I'm trying to do, but I'm going to try. That's just my personality. I have to have to strive um, for better things and more things to do. Um, so that's why I learned how to play piano. Then Vincent came along, which was Joey's older brother. This is like maybe a year later or two. Vincent, um, to me today, now this is just my opinion because, you know, everybody have them. You know what they say. But I still say today he's the best keyboard player I've ever, I, I've ever heard in my life. Um, his ear is so profound. I don't care what kind of music you play. It could be a... Uh, uh, classical Chopin or um or it could be um anything anything I mean just anything and I, I'm thrilled about this back rack he could play Burke back rack he could play um um Bach all you have to do is put the song on for 10 seconds and I'm not joking with you all serious just put the song on for 10 seconds and he'll tell you to stop and he could play it almost note for note anything you know. And um, it was Vincent that got me started in the recording game. He used to work for uh, uh, the legendary Phil Ramon at a &R Studios in New York. And that's why I used to hang at in 81, 82. I used to hang with Vincent. And I was, I was just so impressed. I said, I'm going to do this thing. And that's why I got started in the recording game. It was because Vincent Bryant. Matter of fact, I'm loyal. I give credit to where credit is due. Those three brothers um, was the start for me. Now, now this I lived in East St. Louis and I moved back and I we my mom sent us to stay with my dad. So before I left to go to to Buford or Burton, because I started my my high school there. Um, there was a a cat here that I admired. Um, his name was Reginald Buchanan, and um. Even though Reggie was the first person I saw that I loved playing piano and he could sing his butt off. I mean, an accomplished musician. I didn't I I still didn't want to learn how to play as of yet. But Reggie was the first person that impressed me. And um when I moved there, those cats, that that did it for me. But Let's let's go ahead on so we won't kill too much more time. You know, I have a couple of names on I printed out I printed out a list. Okay. If you go back and play some of these artists I'm gonna name, you see them in me. Cause this is where my style comes from. And it's one name on the list I forgot to put on here, and I got to throw this name on here. Alex Bouillon. He was another person that inspired me. Okay. Okay, we got Alex out of the way. Um, now I could go through my list. Again, this is Music Talk 12. And these are some of my peers. Um, we're talking about my peers and musicians or artists that influence me. You hear my, uh, you hear their style within my playing. They were they play big, uh, big important roles in my music. Um, uh, uh, where I get my style and my sound from. Okay, not just um my my playing style. Um, the tones they use, the chords um they play. Um, 
the sounds they chose um, on synthesizers. Um, I get all that from them. Okay, so again, I mentioned um, Ferrante and Teicher. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I, I, I really admired them when I was a young a young lad. <laughs> I was like 15, maybe 16 years old, and uh, I was so impressed by these guys. They play classical music. Uh, I, I want to say they were brothers, but I don't think they were brothers, but they were so good. I love the way they played and stroked the keys. And then, um, you know I love George Duke, and you know I love Stanley Clark. They, they go hand in hand together. And George... Um, I get so many um runs and 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 so many um so many things from George like chords um the way he plays chords um the way he solos I mean that's why I want to become a solo artist um it was because of Stanley and um George but if it wasn't for Stanley and George um I would have never known about this next artist and and it's a crime if you haven't heard of Gene Lupante oh God he's a violinist. And can he play? Oh, man. Now, this is my opinion because everybody has them. Nobody plays the violin better than Gene Ponte. Nobody. You have never heard him? Google him. Go to YouTube. Um, Gene has gotten up in age as well and um, in his late 70s, but he still can play the violin. Uh, and then we're going to talk about Prince for a couple of seconds because I need to say no more. Not, I don't have to say that much about Prince. You know, I love Prince. That's my favorite all-time artist. Um, I'm so influenced by the way he plays his chords and the way he plays piano. Um, there's nothing else to say. And if you don't know it, but he is an accomplished pianist. Very accomplished. Okay. Now we're going to see, um, you know, my funk roots comes from um, Parliament Funkadelic. And it's a crime if you haven't heard them. But Parliament Funkadelic. Um, that mixture of jazz, fusion, rock. Um, it just drove me wild back in the day. Uh, especially um, back in the Eddie Hazel days. And when Michael Hampton was real young. Those are two guitar players. Um, those, oh man. And if it wasn't for um, for George Clinton... Um, Parliament Funkadelic, I probably wouldn't have never got off into Bootsy. Now, Bootsy is m one of my favorites. He's up there with George and um, Stanley. I love Bootsy. I love everything he does. Um, he was a big influence on my music. But and if you don't know anything about Bootsy Collins, uh, just check out when James Brown band um, quit on him and he was told about Bootsy, um, this young brother in Cincinnati, and the band jumped right in, James and Miss a Beat. That was because of Bootsy. All right. Those crazy little runs I do, like when I do my talk shows, uh, sometimes when you see me, and all of a sudden I might do a run trying to show you um, a run or something. I just jump in and do that or something on the keyboard. Well, I get those crazy runs from Chick Korea. Chick was the man to me. Oh, man, could he play. And he just had some crazy, we, we used to call them in the cornfield solos. He just had some solos that just was awesome. Um, His album he did called Samba L.A. If you listen to that album and the, and the title track, oh, man. Well, let's go ahead on. Now you know I like ballads. I'm, I'm a ballad king. They they call me the ballad king. Some some people do anyway. But I used to listen to. I used to love me some Gino Vanelli. And I used to love me some Christopher Cross. Um, I, I was influenced by them as well as a writer. Um, Gino Vanelli uh, was a smooth vocalist, very smooth, as well as Christopher Cross. And the music was magnificent. And then Kashif. Kashif was a crooner and a bad keyboard player. And he had those unorthodox style, those unorthodox bass lines. Because I'm, un un I'm unorthodox. It's hard for me to say that word sometimes. But I love some Kashif. 
and the Bee Gees. I got a lot of stuff out of the Bee Gees, though. The Gibbs Brothers, um, oh, I hate that. Um, most of them are gone now, just about all of them, except for Barry. But, man, those were some bad musicians. Um, I'm going to name some rock groups because my background has a lot to do with rock, a whole lot. And um, my style and my singing, my style of singing comes from rock. Um, the way I layer my voices when I do background, uh, all that comes from rock. So I'm going to mention Super Tramp first. Super Tramp was my group. Super Tramp got me through a lot back in the day when I was down sometimes. Super Tramp, Journey. Oh, my God, Steve Perry. But let me tell you, we're talking about these groups and sticks. Sticks, Dennis D. Young, Tommy Shaw. Oh, man, I used to love me some sticks. I love this. I love their sound. I could listen to them. I could leave um, St. Louis, um, metropolitan area, and go to um, South Carolina, 15-hour drive, and I could listen to sticks or Super Trump the whole trip. The whole trip, I really mean that, too. The Beatles. I, I don't know who wasn't influenced by the Beatles, if you're in my age group or older. But I was. Anyway. I love Queen. Queen, Queen, Queen. Oh, my God. That was my group. I'm influenced by them. Elton John. Paul McCartney and Wings. I was I was a Paul McCartney and Wings fan. Uh I learned a lot from Paul. Um he used to love me some Kansas. He used to love some Boston. And of course Starship. Okay, so I just went through my list, everybody. If you want to know who influenced me and where a lot of my style comes from, those are the names. Um if you get a chance, go and listen to some of their music unless you know of all these artists and you'll see you see um how they influence me and um compare my style to some of the stuff they do if you like. But um again, my name is Marcellus Green. This is Music Talk 12. Um Music 101. This is just about my influences. I hope um, you like so many people on my list, and I hope some of them influence you as well. If you're if you're a music a musician, if you're a musician, I'm hoping that some of these names kind of got to you too. Again, my name is Marcellus. Um, I own a company called Detail Solutions Computers and Audio. Website www.detailsolutionscomputers.com. Feel free to check me out. Um, if you need any more information, feel free to call Detail Solutions at 618-709-6763. And um, other than that, there's only one thing left to say. Peace.